actually the brilliance of the Main Street approach is it allows you to take their principles and use them in ways that fit your dynamics. A lot of traditional Main Streets, they have a town square, town park, some kind of gathering space. This Main Street didn't have anything like that. It had fast traffic, no streetscape, and I think that's what makes them really special, is they've been able to be successful in spite of that fact. We operate generally on about $62,000 a year. That's everything. One of the things I think that has made them successful with their finances is they were trying to do an event all the time but very small events. We kind of took our cue from Stardust, which is the very first business that sort of came in here and helped create the vibe that this area has. So every Monday night, there's a farmer's market here in the parking lot of Stardust. It's the Audubon Park Community Market. This is more like a saute mix. The farmer's market here really, in my opinion, was kind of the catalyst for local food, good food. You know, These are the non-GMO eggs, and they are 6 they're very much involved with sustainability and the slow food movement and it really shows with the types of businesses that are located here. We wanted to offer healthy fresh food where people could come and feel like they got great value and also had a really delicious meal. So at East End we're a mixed use development. We have office and retail and a proper restaurant, Chocos. We have Old Hearth Bakery, we have a juice bar, we have cheesemonger, we have southern style foods, Italian foods, Japanese food, kind of a, a little slice of Orlando um, right here in one building. East End Market wasn't there by accident. And we were looking for an indoor venue. This church happened to be vacant. For John to have the vision to turn that into an urban market was just amazing. And when they came there they said Audubon Park's kind of got the right bones not only in the building that we can put there but it's also got the right bones and structure in terms of the community that we want to be in. Orlando prior to East End opening didn't have any urban markets anywhere in the city. It's something that a lot of people here really wanted. When the city of Orlando came up with the idea that they wanted to create eco-districts, we definitely wanted to be a part of that. Fleet farming isn't just about growing greens for the community, it's also about building our soil and taking care of the ground that we all live on here in Audubon. You get that undergirding coming from the community itself. It makes the urban farming side of that easy. It makes uh, the composting side of that easy. It just kind of slowly became, you know, the place to be. Years ago, there was convenience stores, and, and then if you wanted to go grocery shopping, you, you went someplace else, completely different. This neighborhood has pretty much almost every business that you need to serve the neighborhood as well. Like our vacancy rate was only 11 or 12 percent. Now it's, it's practically zero. The Main Street program has been an incredible addition to this area. It's provided a lot more promotion, uh, drawing people into our community that maybe wouldn't have thought to come down here. They offer their support on help with permitting and just creating a great environment where we could grow our business and that was really valuable for us too. We're seeing kind of that whole economic shift go on in this neighborhood, um, which is exactly what we want to see in Main Streets. So for us to create some venue, be it food or entrepreneurship or service-based businesses, where they are not having to pay full market rent for way more space than they need, but to get market validated with their product or service, I think any Main Street District should offer that. It's become an incubator of sorts. John Reif has said that he came here because there was a Main Street program, so without that program, we wouldn't have Easton Market today. I could not imagine being anywhere else. Uh, this is a fantastic area. We are so well supported um, by the Audubon Park Garden District and our fellow businesses. Our community is fantastic and this is home for us. <laughs>